Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're gonna start this video off with a little Walmart pickup. Just went to Walmart, and uh, I had been eyeing this two-pack for quite some time now. I finally decided to pick it up. First of all, I love the scene. Love the scene in the movie that these two figures are featured in. Uh, most of all, this also comes with an accessory, so it kind of makes it a two-for-one for me. And anytime I could spend money and get, you know, like a two-for-one, you know, a figure and maybe an accessory that could go with another figure, which is coming down the line very, very soon. G.I. Joe Classified, my favorite line to collect right now. And I saw that they are making a big boa figure. It should come with a punching bag. And uh, this two pack here comes with a punching bag. So I picked it up. Again, love the scene, love this character. I think he might be Filipino, I don't know. I might have to do my research. Ernie Reyes Jr., is he Filipino? Is he a fellow Pino? I got this, bam! TMNT2, Secret of the Ooze, Kino, and uh, little uh, Love Handles foot soldier, little tubby foot soldier there. He's got a little belly on him, but who doesn't? Anyway. Who of us doesn't have a little bit of a belly? If you like to enjoy eating like I do, eating some tacos, eating some friggin' donuts. But yeah, he's got a, he's got a little, little gutsky right there. But uh, yeah, Ernie Reyes Jr., Kino. I didn't get the pizza delivering Kino. I didn't get that one. So uh, this was my chance to get uh, Kino. Ernie Reyes Jr., is he Filipino? Shout it out in the comments. I don't know what his ethnic background is, but uh, Reyes kind of sounds like a Filipino-esque last name. So uh, there you go, guys. This will kick off uh, the rest of this haul video. I think this is going to be my final big haul of the year, 2023. Hell of a year. Hell of a year for freaking action figures. But I think this might be my final big-ass haul ski. So enjoy the video. I will see you guys in the next clip from my office, from the Nerd Bar, and we'll go over this final big ass haul ski so that I could put all this stuff uh, on display and finish doing my damn collection videos. So there you go, guys. Welcome to the video. I'll see you guys soon. Next clip, roll credits. Bam. Man, this is sick of talking mother for the figures. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Hey guys, before we get started, I wanted to let you know about something. If you collect Hot Toys, Sideshow Collectibles, Iron Studio statues, hell even Four Horsemen stuff, Warhammer 40k stuff, check out Collector Zone. CollectorZown.com. The link is in my description, but I wanted to let you know that they carry all kinds of stuff. You can buy all that stuff there, especially Hot Toys. I love their Hot Toys selection. I bought several Hot Toys from them. Very reputable company. But I wanted to let you know that if you see anything that you like on CollectorZone.com, when you're checking out, put in Cincy in the promo codes as a discount code and you will save yourself money. Who doesn't like to save money? So again, check out CollectorZone.com. If you see anything you like and you decide to buy it, if you want to pre-order something, save yourself some money. Use my discount code Cincy. It's my name. C-I-N-C-Y. Save yourself some money. I don't get any of it. I just want to save you guys some moolah. So there you go. Just doing a solid for my peeps. There you go, guys. On to the video. What's up, guys? Another day. Another dollar spent on action figures. I think it's the next day. I think I recorded that last clip yesterday. But anyway, uh, I have made it home. I haven't gone inside yet to start my haul because I went to Target after my workout today. To be 100% honest with you, I was looking for some freaking Donruss Mega Box football cards. People are pulling some freaking inserts out of there called uh, Downtowns. Selling for like, the CJ Strat selling for like $1,500. Holy frick. Uh, I just want to get some rookies. I want to get some, some Puka action, some freaking Stroud action, Chase Brown. There's a lot of good rookies this year. Uh, so I was, I was just gonna buy some football cards to rip open while I watch football. They didn't have what I was looking for. However, I went to the action figure aisle and uh, I saw some signs. Spend 50, save 10. 
I was like, there's no way they have anything I'm looking for. So I went over to the uh, Marvel Legends section, and yes, I am trying to trim back, but um, I would say it's my favorite movie since Endgame is Spider-Man No Way Home. And they had these two. I was not expecting to see this. I had seen that people are starting to receive this from like online stores, but I was not expecting to see this on the damn shelves. So I uh, went to the little uh, scanner deal and I scanned it and it was on sale already. A few bucks off, bam! Freaking Green Goblin. Hell freaking yes, with the glider. Green Gobby, No Way Home. And yes, I do have the Hot Toys version, but I don't have the second version where he takes off the helmet and puts on the little purple deal. Pick that one up. And then I was like, I gotta spend 50 to save my, my 10. Gotta save some money because uh, why not? Smart spending, smart shopping. So I looked around a little bit, looked through the Marvel Legends and I found this. So I wanna kind of stash this aside. Um, and I was really excited to see this character pop up in No Way Home. I was, I avoided spoilers, so I was freaking surprised to see this guy pop up. It's freaking Matt Murdock, Daredevil. Oh freaking yes, in the MCU. Comes with his little uh, walking cane, walking stick, and it comes with a brick. He comes with a brick that he caught. Hell freaking yes. So the best part about this whole experience is the fact that I scanned both of these. They were already on sale. But then they added up to over 50 bucks. So uh, it took $10 off. So basically, as I look at my receipt here, this one, with when all was said and done, came out to $17.91. And this one, and that was originally 25 bucks. This one was originally 50 bucks. Because it comes with a glider, he's a deluxe figure. Originally $50. Uh, 35 bucks after the sale, after the double sale. Hell freaking yes, Target, MCU, Marvel Legends. I'm cutting back, cutting back. I gotta cut back, it's too much damn stuff. But uh, there you go. Um, I have a pretty damn big haul inside, so I'm gonna go inside, get situated. I will see you guys inside, and I will show you what is possibly the last big haul of this year, 2023. See you inside. Hello, my friends. I am not at home, uh, but I am on my way to the gym, and I had some extra time, so I stopped at Walmart. And uh, not a whole lot of new stuff there. They did have the ultimate Kurt Angle. There's something off about that figure. I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't entirely resemble him for some reason. I don't know, but I passed on that. Uh, and then I was thinking about getting the uh, King Cordax. Uh, from McFarlane. That's from the Aquaman movie, by the way, if you don't know. Uh, hell of a freaking sculpt on that. Holy crap. The sculpt on that, especially if you look at like the back of his head. It's hard to see in the box, but if you look at the back of his head, it looks insane. Like an insane sculpt. And then it comes with the uh, the Black Trident, which is what it, from the trailer, it looks like that's what Black Manta uses. So uh, I, I would assume if you are into the Black Manta figure and you want the Black Trident, you probably have to buy the King Cordex too. I actually passed on both of them. I kind of want to see the movie first and see if I like the movie. I'm assuming I'm going to like it because I like the first Aquaman movie and the trailer looks pretty damn good. And um, I like comic book movies. We, I, I grew up in an era where we didn't have stuff like this. So, you know, a lot of the young people, they're like, oh man, this looks like shit. Well, you know what? I kind of like these things. I like these comic book movies. So I'm going to see it. Hopefully I enjoy it. Hopefully it's good. I did pick up a McFarlane figure though. I've been seeing this guy here and there. He's slowly drying up on the shelves. So I decided, you know what? First of all, gonna fix my phone. Cause that mother effer was starting to slide. Uh, second, you know what? If I wait too damn long, this guy's gonna dry up on the shelves and then he might, you know, go up on freaking Amazon. I'll have to pay more than retail. And that's just stupid. It's 20 bucks. Uh, and uh, from what I can tell, I've owned pretty much, I would say like 90% of the McFarlane Batman figures that have come out. And this by far is the best one. It's uh, called the Nightfall Batman. It's classic Batman. It looks freaking awesome. The face sculpt looks amazing. Uh, I am getting the Mafex version of this uh, that comes with like the, 
the pointy cape shoulders. Uh, thankfully, it comes with a, a secondary cape where you could just have him looking like this. But this is kind of my stand-in right now. He's gonna go with my McFarlane figures. He looks friggin' awesome. It's classic Batman. It's classic Batman. So, uh, 20 bucks, you know what? I'm just gonna pick it up. Have it be my Batman right now on my shelf. Uh, but it looks good. It looks damn good. It looks a whole lot better than the first Batman that we got from McFarlane. What was that? Uh, Detective Comics 1000? I don't freaking remember. It came out a long time ago. Uh, and it looks better than the, uh, the Hush versions, I think, is what those were. Anyway, that's the pickup, guys. I'll see you back at the, uh, the house, hopefully. I keep saying I'll see you back at the house, but I keep stopping and buying stuff. But uh, I do have a haul to share. So I will show you that, but uh, adios for now, guys. Merry Christmas, by the way. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you all, to you all that are watching this channel. Hope you're having a good time. Bye-bye. Still not home. I stopped at Target, uh, post-workout. I'm a sweaty, disgusting piece of shit right now. However, I did get this on sale. Bam, Wanda. Multiverse of Madness. They need to make more figures from this movie because I am one of the few, I guess, that love this movie. A lot of people didn't like it. It's Sam freaking Raimi. Come on now. It was awesome. They need to do, here's what they need to do. First of all, I got this for $12.49 because Target's having a massive sale on Marvel Legends. If you can find them in store, good luck. Uh, I saw that Art G, shout out to Art G. He actually um, bought a bunch online, so that's probably your best shot. But you know what? By the time you see this damn video, the sale's probably over. So anyway, I hope you found some stuff online. I hope you found some stuff in the store. Anyway, where the frick was I? I was talking about Multiverse of Madness, how I like the movie, and how it would be badass if Hasbro made like a four, five pack, four pack of the Illuminati from that movie. Holy frick, that would be freaking awesome. That would be so cool. If they did them all in one big pack, I'd buy it. I'd buy I don't know how many else people would buy it, but a Black Bolt? A freaking Krasinski Reed Richards? Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen, because they have to pay those actors an ass load of money for their likeness for one figure. So, never gonna happen, but wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if we could get those? Sorry, I am hopped up on, uh, first of all, on adrenaline, since I just worked out, and this, and a freaking Celsius, so... That's why I just sang. Anyway, guys, hopefully you're still here. I'll see you at the house. Goodbye. All right, guys, I made it in the house. Made it in my office. It is time to share, again, what's probably gonna be the last large toy haul of the year. We're gonna start with the comic books. Why the hell not? I did a separate video uh, last time for my comic book haul, but you know what, I think this is not gonna be that long of a video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, show you which ones I got. Including the Sacrificers. This is issue numero five. This is a uh, image book. I haven't even read issue one yet, but I heard it's good. So I'm kind of buying based on reviews, which you probably shouldn't do because I might not agree with the reviewers, but everyone that has read this has said it's good. So I'm going with it. Invincible Iron Man number 13, if you did not know, Tony Stark and Emma Frost are married. Uh, if you're not aware of the current storyline, it's it's all just like a set up marriage for, for reasons. Um, but yeah, there she is on the cover with Anthony, with Mr. Stark himself. Transformers number three, this is the talk of the year when it comes to comic books. This series, Transformers, um, people are raving about it. So here you go, issue three. It's got Soundwave on it, Ravage, Frenzy, Rumble, OP. Hell oh, freaking yes. Transformers is back. We're still in the uh, fall of X where uh, a lot of the mutants got wiped out. And this is uh, X-Men. It looks like Doctor Doom is in this one. And I heard something along the lines of Doctor Doom making his own X-Men team. Uh, so that interested me. So I'm going to definitely check this one out, read it. I'm still a little bit behind on my X-Men. Got to catch up there. Avengers, another Marvel book, which is pretty popular right now. Avengers number eight. I'm only like two issues in on Avengers. You see the reoccurring theme here is the fact that I am not caught up on my comic books. I need to 
definitely catch up. It's just very busy right now. Being a dad, uh, driving my kids around, taking them to competitions and uh, a lot of work stuff right now. Just busy as shit right now. <laughs> so reading comic books uh, is when I can slide it and usually right before I go to bed is when I read my comic books. But I love this cover. This is the variant cover. And if you remember back in the 80s, they did a cover where Hawkeye was shooting an arrow with Ant-Man on the arrow tip. Well, here's Giant Man shooting a giant arrow with Hawkeye on the arrow tip. I just thought that was such a freaking clever cover. Uh, never seen like the reverse of that before. So that's really cool. Amazing Spider-Man. This is the, uh, I think this is the first issue of Gang War. But yeah, this is the new storyline in Amazing Spider-Man. It's all the like street level thugs are getting together and doing stuff, doing bad stuff. And Spider-Man and Daredevil and Spider-Woman and Miles, they all have to band together and fight the bad guys. Fire and Ice issue two, I read Fire and Ice issue one. It was pretty good. This is a great cover though. Uh, I think this is Lindsner. Joseph Lindsner who, who wrote uh, Cry for Dawn or Drew Cry for Dawn. One of those, wrote, drew, whatever the frick. But uh, excellent looking cover. First issue was all right. Hopefully this issue's good too. This one is the kickoff to Gang War. This is the Gang War like special issue number one. So there you go. This is where you should start. If you see these comic books and you're like, I kind of want to read that. This is where you should start is Amazing Spider-Man Gang War special number one. Uh, Conan, we got Conan, Titan Comics number five. Awesome looking freaking cover right there of Conan. Conan's really, really good. It was with Marvel, they lost the rights. It's with Titan Comics now. It's kicking ass there. Quite a cover here, Savage uh, Red Sonia, bam. Number two, almost didn't see the number two there for a second. Uh, great cover. Dan Panosian is the artist on that cover. Green Arrow number six. Right there, got Green Arrow. And then Barbaric number one. It's a one shot, Barbaric number one. And this is cool. If you're not reading Barbaric, you, you kind of really don't understand this premise, but there's a barbarian, he has a talking ax, it lusts for blood, and apparently there's another dude who has a weapon that also talks to him and lusts for blood. So this is like the antithesis of the uh, protagonist. There you go. Those are the comic books, guys. If you watched this and didn't skip ahead, freaking more power to you. Hell freaking yes. Let's go through these uh, action figures here. I've got some Joe stuff uh, by Hasbro. I got some Joe stuff, not by Hasbro. I've got some next stuff. I got some Transformers, but I'm gonna start with the wrestling figures. I do buy wrestling figures here and there. I'm really, really, really limiting our wrestling figure purchases right now just because of space. I don't have space. So I don't wanna, I don't want stuff to just sit in bins, guys. If I'm gonna buy it, if I'm gonna spend my money on it, my hard earned money, uh, I'm going to want to display it. I can't be the bin guy. I know some people have no problems doing that. I can't be the bin guy. I can't buy something, throw it in a plastic bin. That just seems ludicrous to me. So I gotta display it. So I pick and choose. I got Dom. Dirty Dom, Dominic Mysterio. I definitely wanna get the rest of the Judgment Day. I think they've done Aria. I think they've done Damian Priest in the purple. Uh, Finn Balor's coming out. Hopefully they do another Damian because I don't think that was really Judgment Day Damian. He was just wearing purple. Uh, but I, I definitely need to get the Rhea and the uh, Finn Balor, but there's Dom. One of the biggest heels in the whole damn company in all of wrestling right now. Freaking who would who would have thought? Dominic Mysterio. I uh, saw this one at my Walmart and I've heard nothing but great things about it. I kind of want to get two just because this displays so well and because uh, he's never going back to AEW. Who am I talking about? It's CM Punk, who is now with WWE. Uh, he left AEW on bad terms, never going back. Unless hell freezes over again, I don't think CM Punk is ever going back to AEW. So this is kind of like a, a collector's item. Uh, it's a Walmart exclusive. There's, they're everywhere. It's not like I'm saying it's freaking rare or anything, but he's never going back to AEW the way he left. Although I said the same thing about WWE and look where he is now. But anyway, I, the whole back is this big picture, which is awesome. Uh, and then it's the uh, Supreme Edition. 
Uh, a lot of people that I have talked to have said this is the best CM Punk figure ever made. So that's uh, lofty expectations. We'll see. I definitely want to open it, but I kind of want to get another one just to keep in box. G.I. Joe's. It wouldn't be a video of mine. It wouldn't be a toy haul if I didn't have freaking G.I. Joe's. There's four G.I. Joe items here. I'm going to start with uh, the smaller ones, including this one right here. of the zombie figures because you get like a zombie head sculpt the way that this is being des described i love the crossover storyline behind these guys is that they're mining for dark energon which you could see there the purple and the little canister they're mining for dark energon and it infected them and turned them into effed up freaking zombies first of all i love the crossover back storyline with transformers because energon energon cubes that's freaking cool as hell that uh, they made a figure that has a backstory that is Transformers related. Got another uh, G.I. Joe figure here, classified series. This one, I think it's a Target exclusive. Um, and yes, I do buy my G.I. Joe figures when they first hit the damn pegs. I'm not I'm not a wait until they hit Ross guy. I'm not a wait until they hit TJ Maxx guy because I don't want to take the chance. This is my freaking favorite series to collect. My favorite action figure series to collect. I'm gonna buy them at full price. I don't give a frick. I'm gonna buy them at full price. I am not a wait and see guy. I'm not a wait for clearance guy. I'm going to buy them if I want them. This is Copperhead. This is my second Copperhead. This is the Python Patrol Copperhead. Cause I like Copperhead. So I got the Python Patrol version of him. What can I say? I love freaking GI Joes. It was my favorite thing to collect as a kid. This is a non Hasbro GI Joe here. Still in a damn sealed ass bag. I need to open this one up. I still need to open up my Morbius that I got in the last video, my Mezco Morbius. That gives away what this is. This is a GI Joe by Mezco. It's Roadblock. I got the Roadblock. Hell freaking yes. A lot of people are saying this is their favorite figure of the year. I'm getting a lot of like people's favorite figures of the damn year. There's another thing in this video Another thing in this haul that people are saying, that's the figure of the year. So I won't be the judge of all of that. Can't wait to get him open, pose him up with Destro. Can you see Destro up there? I got the Mezco Destro too. I'm all in on the freaking Mezco G.I. Joe figures. They look freaking awesome. So I still need to pre-order the Duke. I have not pre-ordered him yet, but all the other ones I have. NECA, earlier clip, you saw me pick up the Filipino Ernie Reyes Jr. and the Foot Soldier from Turtles 2. I did not have any of these, but now I do. I picked up the Turtles from Turtles 2. Here are the two packs. This is uh, Leo and is that Raph? This is Raph. There's the size. Got Raph and Leo. Hell freaking yes. Turtles 2. New mold, new paint. They look different from the uh, the Turtles 1 figures. I personally prefer, I know this is blasphemous to a lot of people because everyone's like, I don't need those. I got the Turtles 1 figures, those are superior. I think that these actually are better. I just think, I like the sculpt more. I like the sculpt more of these, I like the paint detail. I think these look better. Personal opinion, don't lambaste me in the comments. Uh, here's the other two pack. It's Donnie and Mikey. Hell freaking yes. There's Ernie Reyes Jr. He played Donatello in Turtles 2. I kind of want to pose him. Here's another blasphemous thing. Although a lot of you have said that you like this scene, but I love the Ninja Rap scene with Vanilla Ice in Turtles 2, and I want to pose them dancing. I want them on a shelf dancing to, to Ninja Rap. Hell freaking yes. So. That's my, that's my plan. I'm gonna watch that scene again and I'm gonna freeze frame it and try and find a good uh, pose that they can all pull off. I'll probably need stands because they're dancing. All right, two more items. One of these is gigantic. Actually, the other one's pretty big, damn big too. We're gonna start with the not as gigantic item. Transformers, I said I had a Transformers item. Some people are saying that this is the best Transformers figure of the year. 
I hate to keep saying that this is like best of the year contender, but a lot of people are saying figure of the year. Some people are saying best Transformers of the year. I've been eyeballing this. I found it on discount. I think TF Source had it for a percentage off. I got it for like 50 bucks off or something. And I had rewards. So I decided to, to use it on this masterpiece. Skyfire slash Jetfire. Hell freaking yes. He's a big boy. I love that he has the, uh, what is that called? It's not Gestalt, Gerwalker or something? Where it's like half plane with legs. It was in Robotech. Um, let me know in the comments. I apologize. I don't remember the name of this mode. It's like Gerwalker or something? Anyway. You can see how big he is right here in comparison to the Masterpiece Bumblebee, Ironhide, and uh, MP, uh, the freaking is it, is it MP44? I don't remember which MP number it is, but it's the newest Optimus Prime. He looks big, but you know what? Who needs a picture when you got the real freaking thing? Yes, I already opened it, and yes, sir. He is big. He's a big boy. Look at that. He's chunky, beautiful, clean looking backpack. No, uh, what do they say, kibble? No kibble? Um, just looks awesome. Ratchets, ratchety joints. Uh, he's got ratchet in the, yeah, in his shoulders too. No ratchet in the elbow though, although it's a nice tight elbow. But to show you how large this is, I just so happen to have my masterpiece scaled TE01 Transform Element Optimus Prime. Again, this is masterpiece scaled, and here's how big he is next to Jetfire. And then to give you, don't fall, to give you another comparison, this is a G.I. Joe Classified General Hawk, excellent figure by the way, and look at how large he is <laughs> compared to this Skyfire slash Jet. What do you want to call him? Jet Jetfire or Skyfire? I don't care. I call him Jetfire. Some people prefer Skyfire, whatever you want. But he's big. That's what I'm trying to show you here. He's very, very large. So very freaking awesome. Very excited to have this. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure where I'm going to put him because uh, he does fit in the details there. But he's so damn thick. He takes up some real estate, so I might have to put him in a different spot. All right, this one right here is going to be it's heavy as balls. This is going to be my. Make sure I don't roll over anything. Hello. This is heavy. I'm sure a lot of you know what this is. This is a Haslab GI Joe classified his tank. I got my his tank. So hell freaking yes. It, why is it so heavy? Is there just like a buttload of packaging in here? There's no way that the his tank itself is that heavy. Unless it is. Unless it's just solid chunk. Oh, geez Louise. I think I just threw my back out. It's not coming out of box right now. I don't have anywhere to put it. Thinking about doing the whatnots again, selling some stuff or throwing them on Facebook. I got to clear out some room. If I'm gonna put this somewhere, if I'm gonna keep this in the collection, if I'm gonna put it somewhere, I need some damn room for it. Like I could put it over there, but Hulkbuster's over there. There's a little table over there. So I don't know where the frick I'm gonna put it, but I gotta figure it out. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, last big haul of the year. I have a frick ton of stuff to open up, get on the shelves, and then uh, do my collection videos. So I got at least two, three collection videos to do. Um, I know that I have some stuff still coming in the mail and then I got a big ass box from Hasbro Pulse coming too. So you'll just see those in the collection videos. This is the final large haul of the year. I really, really thank you all for watching this channel uh, and supporting me for this long. I've been doing this since uh, 16, 15, one of those, a little while now. I'm approaching 500 videos. That doesn't even include all the lives I've done. So I'm way over 500 videos. It's been a journey. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm not going anywhere. I have slowed down just because my girls are getting older and uh, they require more of my time and uh, travel. But uh, I love doing this. I love collecting. It's my passion, as you can tell. So 
thank you guys for supporting me. I appreciate it. If you want to support more, I have a, a Patreon. If you want to support more, I have a members thing. You don't have to do that. I don't ask for anything. But if you want to, it's there. But uh, otherwise, I appreciate it. I'll see you on lives. I'll see you on collection videos. I'll see you around the corner. Have fun collecting. Have fun collecting. If you're not having fun, why the frick do this? It's an expensive hobby. If you're not having fun, stop. Just do something else. But uh, that's it for now. I'm rambling. Adios.